Hi, I'm Ben Brownlee with Curious Turtle, and we are going to be checking out the BCC Magic Sharp filter now. Now, as the name implies, the BCC Magic Sharp filter is a sharpening tool, but the magic part of the name is how it deals with sharpening without adding in halos that you might see with other sharpening filters. Let's take a look at our first shot, and here it is without any sharpening applied to it. And if I turn on the Magic Sharp, you can see some sharpness being applied straight away. Now, the great thing about the BCC Magic Sharp filter, as well as many of the Continuum filters, is that they do come along with a number of presets to help us along our way. In this case, I can see that we're gonna need a lot of extra sharpening on this particular area, so I'm gonna add the Double Sharpness preset. And I can adjust the sharpness amount to make it even crisper. Now, because of the nature of this footage, if I look at the different color channels, you can see that what the sharpness is also doing is it's also sharpening up some of our noise as well. If I change this just to the blue channel here and use the noise suppression filter, you can see that the noise is being reduced quite significantly. We also have a grit remover, which can come in and further soften out some of those details. Now, obviously I don't want to take the noise suppression up too far, Otherwise that's counteracting the sharpness a little bit too much. So another way of limiting where this sharpness is being applied to is by using the pixel chooser. And here we can limit things either using mats or masks, including using the built-in version of Mocha to create and track in some more complex mask shapes. And once we have our animated mask, we can still come in, add feathering, invert, or make changes and adjustments as we need to. So if we take a look at the compare, we can easily look at the before and the after to see just what that sharpening is doing for us. Now sharpness doesn't just have to be used as a corrective technique. More often than not, I'll add an instance of BCC Magic Sharp across the entire project right at the end before mastering it out. And depending what camera you're using and what your footage is, you might only need a little bit of extra sharpness just to make things pop that tiny bit more. One of my favorite things to do is use the high threshold sharp edges preset and adjust the sharpness amount down as required. And that helps to add in just a tiny bit more detail into our footage before we take it out. So to my mind, BCC Magic Sharp really is one of the most useful filters in my toolbox. Thanks for watching and be sure to click on the link in the description to download a free trial of Continuum for Adobe and check them out for yourself. Also, Follow Boris FX on YouTube, Facebook, and Twitter to stay up to date with the latest information and training materials on Continuum, Sapphire, Mocha Pro, and all the Boris FX products.